All right, so we made the sign and now she's decided that we want to, we're gonna put the faux shiplap on this wall behind the headboard as an accent wall. Uh, at the same time, we're gonna paint the other three walls uh, like a gray color. I'll get you that exact color in a second. And then by doing so, she's gonna wanna paint the bathroom also. So first thing we're going to do before we put the faux shiplap up is I need to paint these side walls here the color that we picked out. And then that way, when we put the shiplap up, we don't have to worry about actually getting the paint on the shiplap. So the way we did this, we cut these five and one eighth inch wide. That'll give you nine boards on a four by eight sheet of plywood, eight feet long, and then we're cutting off the four foot side. So we wound up with nine of these strips. What we done was we put an eight foot strip right in the middle and we're just gonna randomly stagger our boards because we don't want anything. You can stagger them if you want, like align every other board all the way down. Uh, we thought that looked a little too subway tally. So we want to actually randomize this and just uh, stagger it everywhere. And the way we keep our gaps is just a nickel, just a common nickel. It's about a sixteenth of an inch thick and we'll hold those up there. And then I'm tacking these in place with a one inch brad nail. That's all, that's all it's going to take to hold them in place. It doesn't take a whole lot. This is into sheetrock. Man, that wall turned out awesome. That faux shiplap is so easy to do. We're gonna leave this natural. We were originally planned on painting it white, but once we got it up there, we liked it too much to paint it. Uh, that's quarter inch plywood, uh, just ripped into five and one eighth inch strips. And then if you do that, eight foot long, but when you get to the edge of your plywood, you'll have a strip about that long left. So everything works out good if you do it at five and an eighth. You get nine strips out of each piece of plywood. And uh, we were really, really impressed with this. So we didn't use anything other than brad nails, some short one inch brad nails. We didn't want them to go too far into the wall because you don't want to hit any electrical. We have one electrical outlet to cut around. You, you can look inside and see which way the cord or the electrical wire goes. So we just uh, made sure to attach the brad nails on the opposite side of that. If you're worried about that falling off the wall, just putting that into drywall, it's not going to, and I have proof. Let's look. So we've used quite a bit of this faux shiplap before. We've got it up there into that little nook that's up there. We also used it on our uh, hall tree. It's just attached to the wall. Not had any problems with that. That's been up there six or eight months or maybe a year. It's been up there a while. But the ultimate test to make sure that it'll work because the ceilings are drywall too. In our den, what we call our dens where our dining table is. Breakfast nook. Breakfast nook. We put it on the ceiling and so it's been up there for probably a year and a half or so and all that's up there is brad nails and it is not budged so we know that it'll stick to the wall if it sticks to the ceiling hey thank you for watching this faux shiplap wall build if you want to see more videos click on that box right there don't forget to hit the thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and also as usual if you share this on your social media i give you a virtual fist bump